facing the cameras on the red carpet and ready to face the dark secrets from her painful past on screen. It's very emotional and I'm really trying to stay present, as they say. Brooke Shields was joined by her husband, Chris Henchy, daughter Greer, and some of her famous friends at the New York premiere of her explosive new docuseries, Pretty Baby. You really are an exquisite looking young lady. I know you've been told that, but isn't she a pretty, pretty girl? I've always worked hard at being the most myself and a good person, and I fought for that for 57 years. I was never going to let myself not forge ahead. I'm most proud of my work. I've, I'm just, you know, I've, I, to own your talent is a very emotional thing for me, and to see it all and not compartmentalize it, but actually say, Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> you know, you undermine yourself because the world tries to knock you down. From making the sexually explicit Blue Lagoon at 14. What are you looking at? Your muscles. To the controversial Calvin Klein commercial she starred in as a teen. My mother warned me about boys like you. Brooke is revealing the ugly truth behind her rise to fame as a model, actress, and American icon in the two-part series dropping April 3rd on Hulu. I was on the cover of Time magazine as the face of that whole era. Including the bombshell revelation that she was sexually assaulted by a Hollywood executive more than 30 years ago. It's taken me a long time to process. Um, we all have to deal with it really in our own way and in our own time, not the way other people tell us to deal with it, anything. And it was ready, and I felt that it would have been inauthentic not to include a big piece of my life. Brooke, now a mother of two teenage girls, also opens up about being sexualized as a child as her Hollywood career took off. I'm amazed that I survived any of it. Brooke says she spoke candidly to her daughters about the dangers of show business and her own complicated relationship with her mom and manager, Terry. When that open discussion was happening, I chose my girls rather than defending my mother. And I thought, isn't this interesting? You know, we're very tied, but I made a decision no longer to, to just take care of myself and take care of my girls. And it felt very much like a rite of passage. I, I'm be beyond proud. Like, I'm so happy it's all finally coming together. I'm so proud of her. Ladies, go ahead to the left, please. Brooke's daughter, Greer, is ready to follow in her mom's footsteps, even raiding her closet for an old 80s look. It's Dolce Gabbana. She used to wear it, which I think is so fun. But mom is making her wait to follow into the modeling game. With agencies and my mom, it's it's 18, and I'm 17. Ground rules are 18, but honestly, she's been really like helpful and supportive, and I, I trust her and I listen to her, so if she says 18, it's 18. I'm talented, and it was a revelation, you know? I've, I've either always been nice or smart or pretty or famous or infamous or whatever all the other things, and I've fought very hard for my my creativity and I'm proud of it.